Hello everyone, welcome to Talk at Event Robert. So, uh, today we are going to review chapter 1008 of One Piece. So, the title of the chapter is Ashura Doji, Head of the Mountain and Atama Bandits. Uh, it's clear from the title, this entire chapter it is heavily based around Ashura Doji. Doji and how he had a bakery in the past. And so, for the cover spread, uh, no new series is starting. That's like okay. Hey, for the cover spread, we have Robin helping out a horse flying. Robin helping out a horse flying. Okay. And so from we begin the chapter with uh, pretty much where we left. If the last time with Odin, and standing in front of the scabbards, he's like, I was flung into the future by Toki's power. I'll explain the details later. It's a long story. Uh, trying to make the scabbards believe, yeah, I am the real Odin, let's go. So, Kinemon's happy, Nekomamushi is happy, Ekiko is also happy, they all, all, all of them are crying. Hing. Hing, and they all have agreed to this. Yes, and Odin's like, yeah, yeah, let's go. We need to take down Kaido. You know, we failed the last time, let's do it this time. You know, Arash is like, okay, let's do this. Is and all the scabbers are like, yeah, you can count on us. And then Ashura Doji realizes, says to everyone, and don't be fooled, this obviously is an imposter. Okay, I was really hoping it would be the real order, uh, but it's not, it's an imposter. Stir and... You know how happiness can sometimes cloud your judgement? And this is what is happening with the scabbards right now. Oh, uh, basically with Kinemon, uh, Raizo is in his senses and Ashura Doji is in, also in his senses. Others are all like, okay, he is a real Odin, just, let's just roll with it. And that Ashura Doji thinks about it, Raizo also thought about it. Kinemon's like, what are you saying, Ashura? He is right here in front of our eyes. Yeah, Kanjura was also right in front of your eyes and he turned into ink. And then Raizo reminds him, Kinemon, Kinemon Remember what Toki Sama told us. So they remember the time when Toki told them, Yeah, uh, I cannot bring you back from the future to the past. You cannot be sent to the past, no matter what. Okay. And since this Odin is over here, Toki couldn't have sent him back or brought him back to her time. And, and he clearly died that day. Okay. This also confirms that, yeah, he is dead. Dead and not coming back, probably. Yeah, there are still a few minor ways in which he might be able to come back, back, but they won't make a lot of sense. So it's just, yeah, nothing's happening with Odin, he's dead. dead. And as they're talking about it, Ted, like, they're arguing with each other, yeah, he is the real, he is the fake. Take, uh, he is the fake. The fake, then Ashura Doji just gets up. Uh, punches Kinemon in the face and cuts and then just attacks Odin on his face. He cuts his face, face and says, yeah, see, he's not bleeding. Bleeding. And Odin proceeds by stabbing him. And even he's saying that, I'm no different from you guys. I wish he was real, but he isn't. So yeah, he is maintaining his senses right now. He is thinking rationally. That's a good thing. Because if he wasn't, all the scabbards probably would be dead by now. Yeah. Now then, we, uh, all the scabbards are ready to fight Todin. And, and they figure out pretty much like right away that yeah, it's Kanjiro. You know, and Odin tries to tell them, yeah, no, no, I am Odin. And even though he just clearly stabbed, Abda Ashira in an intent to kill him, that's not a very good sign, Kanjiro. And then Kiko is like, yeah, this is my fault, I was the one who had to take care of Kanjiro. So sorry about all that. And Ashura replies by, even the sharpest swords becomes dull when pointed at a friend. That makes sense, sometimes. And then they all proceed to fight. Denjiro is the one who is actually attacking Odin first. Uh, sort of all of them. You figure that he'd be the last time with, Kine with Kinemon, one, but no, he goes in first. Uh, Raizo is coming after him. 
at him and Odin's Conjuro is basically like just toying with him. It's hard for me to control all this with like from a distance and, and I will plunge a dagger into the heart of Kozuki clan before I die. So we pretty much just know that Kanjiro is alive, he's also running and probably going there where, where Odin is right now where all the scabbards are. And then Danjiro says, yeah, Mohanasuke, Suke Sama is in danger. And because of all that announcement that happened, wait, which announcement? Yeah, they announced something. And then, yeah. Kanjuro sent this drawing with a lot of preparation. Patient, it is strapped around with bombs. Bombs, they are talking. King about, yeah, he is with Shinobu and, and stuff. And Odin just lights all the bombs. Means Ashura Doji and Denjiro realize this. Denjiro proceeds. Leads by stopping Odin. And Ashura Doji is with him. Him and. Kaboom! Boom. And there is a huge boom. All the scabbards pretty much just get out except Ashura Doji who was caught up in the blast. Ashura might be dead by now. The blast doesn't look that big. Pell survived his blast. Probably Ashura can get out of this unscaped. Like he could get a star or two, fine, but he probably will be alive considering that Pell survived. All the other scabbards survive. Like they are pretty much just injured. But, but yeah, yeah, and then they proceed to charge at Kanjiro. Uh, Kinemon is like, all right, we gotta kill him. Kill him, and we even see Kanjiro. You know, like he just wants to kill them, nothing else. else. And then Jack shows up. So, and yeah, that's whenever Jack shows up, it's pretty much like. Okay, we gotta deal with him. Him now. Oh, he's pretty much beat up entirely. Sanji isn't here yet. I think that, yeah, he will come here. Here, or he will straight up go to Momonosuke. Okay, whichever he chose, but I, I figured that, yeah, he would be here. Yeah, but if not, then, yeah, then he's with Momonosuke. Yeah, okay, but, yeah, I guess that he should be here considering. So, Jack has arrived near the scabbards. That's bad news. And according to him, there were a lot of minks who were trying to protect Ekden Varasha Nekomamushi and Jack just stomped them. Then Inuarashi tells Raizo and Nekomamushi to keep going to Mamonosuke and that he can handle Jack himself. Which I doubt that's gonna happen. And the other scabbards start moving up how to save Mamonosuke and take care of Kanjiro. So, and um, yeah, Inorashi still stays behind. And, and Jack's like, yeah, there's no moonlight in here. You can't transform into so long, you can't fight me. <laughs> and Inorashi just straight up tells him, funny, I was just thinking, there's no poisonous gas either. Right. And, I'm interested in seeing how this goes down. And then we see that the castle is on fire. Uh, some people are yelling that the castle is on fire. Uh, and Orochi is alive. Many people thought that he was alive. Like, no way he's gonna die that already. But yeah, he's alive. So I guess Yamato has a fight now. Now he or she can fight Orochi. Maybe. He is planning to burn the entire castle and roast Kaido to death because the entire island is flying and they are heading to Wano. I think that's idiotic because like how long will it take for Kaido to nuke the entire island? Three borrow breaths, like three minutes, that's all it's gonna take and yeah. If he gets King, Queen, Heen and Jagad there, he doesn't need anyone else. He doesn't even need those three. He, he took it that type. He can just find more people. Well, and then we cut to Yamato, Shinobu and Mamonosuke. Yeah, and Mamonosuke is telling Yamato that, yeah, I can control my transformations better now. The time I met the Straw Hats, I just transformed whenever I got 
Not anxious. Yes, I'm startled. And Yamato even says, yeah, that power is similar to my father's. I think that's straight up just implying that, yeah, Momonosuke's root is the same as Kaido's. Well, oh, oh, no, me. Oh, no, me is a dragon, dragon fruit. Oda stated that in SPS. Yes. And then Yamato's like, I wonder if Luffy is doing okay. I wish I could help him. Him take Kaido down as Odin. <laughs> and then Momonosuke tells, yeah, Luffy is worn out, but he's as high spirited as ever. But Shinobu, that's a relief. Uh, wait, how do you know that Momonosuke? Suke sama. Uh, and Momonosuke, Momonosuke was replying, but we don't hear that reply. And then we cut to rooftop. Rooftop. And you, Luffy is yelling. I think he's got his haki back. Back, and he just Kaido. He attacked Kaido, and Kaido just slammed him again back. Back. Uh, Zoro is there. Kids there in his. Yeah, his mecha his suit is now gone and he's just wearing those huge mechanical arms for some reason. And Kala is also there. They all pretty much seem okay. Hey, Zoro is holding his enma, the other two blades are in shift. shift. And they all are wondering, how do we win against these monsters? None of our attacks are working. Kids says that, that yeah, kids attack won't even work. Or like He has just iron. Big Mom's body is nothing but an huge iron balloon and Kaido. Uh, yeah, I doubt that. I doubt that Kid has done any significant damage to both of them. Of them. And Luffy is utterly exhausted. He's bleeding, bleeding, but he's like, they're definitely working. We have hit them so many times. They have to be feeling it. It. All right, Luffy. When you first beat the Krapata, Kaido. When you first heard that you were beating the guy part Kaido, he didn't feel anything. anything. And he says that they're just humans like us. You can say that for Big Mom, maybe. There's no practical chance Kaido is entirely human. And, yeah. And, boom. We even get to see Kaido's hybrid form. And it looks super cool. Cool. I'll get to that later. later. And so their plan is to separate hate those two and fight them individually because fighting them together is just hell. Okay, let's get to Kaido's hybrid form. Um, so he, he has got his dragon scales on his arms, his weird moustache, his dragon moustache is coming out, out and he's holding his kanabo. Nabo, he's got his dragon claws on his hands, he's got his tail. tail. He also has his dragon horns as well as his normal uh, horns that he has as in his human form his human form and he also has a longer beard now oh he is wearing his face. <laughs> thing and as i was just saying that yeah fighting those two together is just hell and lofi is that if that's true i guess i've been to hell hell and back a few times now Alright, yeah, you have been Luffy. First name fell down and then two times in Holke Island. And then Kaido has also got fangs. Dragon fangs and his other teeth look same. He has got his scales on his face too. too and he's like, your eyes never seem to lose their fire straw hat. There's no break next week, so that's a good thing. And they're gonna separate them, him and fight them individually, and that's the end of the chapter. We don't get anything else. Hmm. 